Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about C sharp interop with C and C and see how you can do that. To, so to demonstrate, I have a WPF app on button click, it doesn't do anything, and that's all I have right now. And uh, what we want to do is have this uh, be able to call a C function that uh, I have written. So what you want to do is you can create a new, uh, for demonstration purposes, a new C++ project. And once you do this project, the main thing you want to make sure that uh, you have is uh, inside the calling function, if you go to C++ advanced, uh, the calling convention is has to be standard call or at least that's the way I've seen it work. It may be possible to change some more settings and have it work in a different way. So in your Win32 project, which you have uh, the DLL, you can put it as standard call. So that's all I've done. If you just do a boilerplate um, DLL, that's what it is going to do. So if you look at my uh, plate, uh, this is just a way of calling DLL functions and attaching it, but I'm not using that. So all I have done is this. What you want to say is extern c declare spec dll export and this is my function which basically takes a character pointer print this is a test and whatever the data came in it does an fff flush standout because i want to be able to see the data printout when the wpf function calls this and that's all i've done so if i compile this uh, what it is going to do is is going to compile this uh, into this area uh, wherever the normally the C++ function is. So typically what I end up doing is uh, I can set it up to basically make it available for my C sharp debug area but uh, I just usually like to just manually copy it to just kind of make sure of, I know what I'm doing. So I got my DLL basically wherever my interop program is and uh, so now we can go back to our uh, WPF program and we want to be able to call the test on a button claim. So to be able to do that you essentially need to obviously make a call. So what you can do is uh, say you can just say test calling uh, test calling from WPF But obviously this is not going to work because it's not going to find it. So the way to uh, um, make this available is to uh, just use these lines of code and I will explain to you what it is. Basically it is telling me that I want to be able to import this function called test from uh, the Win32 project 1 which is the binary that we copied Win32 project 1 and uh, the declaration is basically a static function it's not returning anything it's taking in a string and data and it's pretty important to put this in marshall as unmanaged type is lpc string or pointer to a string and that's all you really need to be able to do so let me just get the build started here and uh, we'll see this working okay so i have started this wpf program and let's see if it finds the dll maybe let me clear this output so it will be easy to see if it's something new prints out so it's coming in here and I'm just going to step over F10 and you can see it is able to print this output information correctly as we expected so this is how you can do the interrupt and uh, one more thing that sometimes you might be wondering how to get all this so there is actually a pretty good website called uh, pinvoke.net which will show you the signature of many of the common functions and you should probably explore that if you're going to be doing this. Another uh, way to do this is to get an extension from the same website and I have an instance installed. So I'm, for example, I'm going to just say, let's say I just keep my cursor here. I'm going to say insert p invoke signature and let's say I search for a function called create file. This is obviously a win32 function so I can get that and I can just uh, say insert and here it can insert the function for me it's got all the signatures so that's an excellent way to be able to call uh, uh,
current 132 functions that may exist and this can be very helpful to you if you want to learn more and watch other videos you can basically go to my website and i for example i search on algorithms here and uh, you can watch and see many other things thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day